Hey, I'm Morgan. I'm a little drunk. First of all, these lights. You know what? I'm not equipped. Guys, welcome to this video. My name is Morgan, and I have decided I was going to, I have decided that I'm going to do a drunk luxury skincare routine. So I know this is a little not what I usually post, but you want to know what? Want to, do you want to know something? When I drink, which is like when I feel like drunky, it's like it doesn't, one, it doesn't take a lot. Two, it's like I don't want to just get drunk for the camera because it does take a lot out of me. So like I went out for dinner tonight. I had a couple drinkies and I'm drinking more at my house. And then I said, you know what, honey? To my husband, I said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to film. And he's like, what? And I'm like, I'm going to film my drunk skincare routine. So if, you ha if you're new here, hi, I'm Morgan. I love luxury. Wow. Hi, I'm Morgan and I love luxury skincare. Hi, my name is Morgan and I love La Mer, Chanel, Dior, and Sicily and La Prairie. And more La Mer on top. Why am I not drinking the Miracle Broth? I don't even know. I wish they made it. A, I wish they made the Miracle Broth into a collagen drink. Oh my God, my migraine. So I also have chronic fatigue, and I constantly have a low grade migraine. And these lights being drunk on top of it are just not my tea. Anyway, wow, editing this is gonna be so embarrassing. So okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm drunk, obviously, right now. I'm not hammered but I'm definitely feeling good and I'm definitely just like loosey-goosey and I'm just just like a drunky McGee and I'm just doing whatever I want so I'm drinking so okay guys if I listen I don't do shots you know how people come on here and they're like I'm gonna drink a shot and we're gonna sh take shots until I get drunk if I did that I'd be in the ER so guys I'm gonna tell you what I drank tonight I had a lemon cello martini now don't don't laugh I had a lemon cello martini and then I had a glass of rosé. That's it. I am a lightweight. I don't want to know what I think it is. I think it's just this, like I don't eat a lot of carbs. And the, from not eating carbs, whatever I drink on top of like any type of medications that I take for my conditions, it just, it just turns in like this is it. This is it, boo. So I am drinking an IPA. Um, It's by... My God, I hate beer. Wallet, what's, I don't hate it, but it's like, this gives, this gives me heartburn. Uh, Wallet Pop Pack Brewing Company Largemouth India Pale Ale. I don't know, but this stuff gets me wrecked. <laughs> so this is it, baby. So now that I have my hair tied back, let's get started. So I need to remove my makeup, okay? And what I, oh my God, you can see my tracks. For my extensions, you could see my tracks. Yes! Yes! I'm gonna go in, I have to double cleanse. Every time I have makeup on and or, or and I've been out for the night, double cleansing for me personally is a must because right now I just have like a bunch of sloppy makeup on and I hate makeup like on my skin. There's no way I'm not double cleansing. Sorry, there it's just it's gonna happen. So guys, it's like almost gone like this is I take my double cleansing so seriously like it's a way of life for me so we're gonna just do a scoopy scoop my nose is itchy scoopy scoop that's a lot maybe not and I just I rub it I warm it up and it melts it actually melts look at that it actually melts and I just become a sloppy mess and this is what I do this is drunk, sober, rain, snow, sleet, or shine. Ew, I'm getting this in my hair. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, oh my God, I hate this. Oh my God, I hate this. So I'm already five minutes in, I'm only on step one. Oh my God, no amount of alcohol can stop this. Ew, I'm sobered right up. Where is my La Mer? This is too much for me. Ew! Hi! Okay, so I just got out of the shower. 
Um, I changed robes because I change into multiple robes a night. Like, I'm not even kidding. So, okay. I'm tiring out. I hate beer, and I'm still drinking it for this video. Oh, my God. I can't wait to drink water. So, next I'll go in with my special Great Lengths hair extension brush because I have really long fake hair. So I just like to give myself a nice brush through. Yes, this is no matter how drunk I'm feeling, the pampering still goes on. There's never, oh, if you hear like snorting and sneezing, it's my dog in the background. But I never miss a day. Like I never, like my husband even knows like, up, oh, she went upstairs, like I shower everything when I come home. It's not before I go out, it's when I come home. Like, I'm not even kidding. I will be, I used to be, I don't drink a lot anymore, but when I was in, like, my 20s, like, early 20s, every night after the club, 3 a.m., guess who was in the shower? Me. I honestly, I just, if I'm not pampered before bed, no matter my state, like, my mental state, my physical state, I feel worse the next day. I feel worse, like, I'd rather be hungover than with no skincare routine like alrighty so now that I have my hair tied back in a velvet scrunchie from Banana Republic <laughs> time to get started so usually what I go in with when I get out of the shower is I go in with my latest purchase of the weekend so this weekend is from Ulta and it is of course my beloved Beekman 1802 I've never tried this product so this is gonna be a first time it's free of fragrance it's okay it's a body whip oh I love the plaid aesthetic. You know what, before I even start anything, I'm gonna get this, this, whatever is on my, my um, eye line off. Like this is, this is it for me. Every single time, no matter what. Texture Tuesday moment, yes. No smell, no fragrance. I'm just gonna start applying it and I might have to apply this off camera because you're gonna get a nip slip if I don't. So I literally just doused my entire body in goat milk and moving on. I'm still trying to drink. I'm going to try the clay de Peau pads. So when I wear makeup, like it's imperative that I get everything off. So not only do I double cleanse, I will not go in and tone and I love luxury facial pads. So these are the Clay Depot ones. This has been recommended by my subscribers for a while. And I'm finally, they're, they feel very cushiony and they feel luxe AF. Pinky out. I'm just gonna go in with my Dr. Dines. I like Dr. Dines. They're sold on QVC. They're sold on QVC. And I do, honestly, everything I got by Dr. Dines is like so good. I, I just don't even get it. They actually had written me that they were gonna, oh, and I just go in an upward sweeping motion. Um, I'm not anticipating to getting a lot off because of the double cleanse, but who knows? It's the drunk elephant, you know what I'm saying? Makeup melt, so it's like, <laughs> it's a little iffy. <laughs> they had reached out to me, Dr. Dines. Wow. Oh, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable at all. No. No. Oh. <laughs> Thank God I toned. I hate when people are like, like toning's not necessary. Ah, uh, yes it is, girl. Okay, and we're gonna drink a beer. Ah, oh, those Clay de Peau Beauté pads were lovely. Anyway, Dr. Dines, they had reached out to me. They said they love to send me products. I said, oh my God, that'd be great because I love your brand. I do. My mom's skin looks great when she uses this brand. I like this brand. Like, honestly, I'm a fan. So when they said they wanted to send me stuff, I was like, yeah, because I like this brand. Never got back to me. Okay, that's fine, Dr. Dines. That's fine. I always say this about PR and I'm serious, right? And this is me drunk being honest with you which I'm always honest with you guys anyway, but hold on. <sighs> guys, I say this all the time. If I want it, I got it. Meaning, if I want it, I buy it. Your, like, PR doesn't mean anything to me. Like, when people are, like, eat, like scared to say something bad about a brand because they, they might get cut from the PR list, it's like, that's fine. I literally will just go buy it myself. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm used to it by now. So moving on. Now that my face is squeaky clean, I'm going to go in with 
a lotion and I'm gonna go in with the La Mer infused lotion because we're luxe like that and we're too long to fuck to function so you just mix it up right this is me drunk like guys I go in right like I said I go in I just do one two I have to hurry up because it looks like I only have like a couple minutes left and I rub it. I always warm all my La Mer products up and then I just, I'm gonna sweep this one across my face. Next, let me just drink this disgustingness. After this video, you guys, I am gonna drink a ton of water before I go to bed. I'm gonna wake up like a million bucks because I'm gonna be slathered with La Mer. Guys, I also wanna know when I am tipsy like this, like I know I'm like a little off the chain right now, It makes me want to pamper myself more before I go to bed because like there's nothing like okay like you're hungover you wake up you feel like crap but your face feels like a baby's bottom next I'm gonna go in with my serum so I'm gonna go in I have this beautiful sample of the Genesis de la mer serum it's called the serum essence this stuff is like over six hundred dollars I believe it's insane and it's really really nice so we're gonna use this on my drunk night because well my skin's gonna need the extra help tomorrow I'm gonna be pretty dehydrated so I warm it up and then this stuff I just I make sure to pat around okay over $900 worth of skincare on your face just from everything we've done tonight no 10 no we're at a thousand at this point because cleanser is 80 then toners like yeah no we're we're at a thou we've already did a thou over a thousand dollars of drunk skincare on our face we do a little dab 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 and then we tap tap it out so when i wake up tomorrow my eyes aren't gonna be a baggy mess we're gonna wake up looking vibrant and beautiful we're, we're gonna feel internally like crap but we're gonna look radiant and that's all that matters I mean, for me, I also bring it down my smile lines, of course, right here. Last but not least, we are going to go in with our moisturizer. I am still using the La Prairie Anti-Aging Night Cream, and I love this stuff. I love this stuff, and I'm sad because I'm almost out of this stuff. It makes my face feel incredible. I love it, love it, love it, and I'm really sad that I'm running low and they've stopped using it because I think it's fantastic. I have a feeling they're going to remake it in the future because it's just so good. I love this stuff. I love taking it right down my neck, too. It's incredible. Like, I'm really a fan of La Prairie in the skincare world. I am. I've been impressed by everything I've tried by them so far, especially this cream. I love it.